back here just giving an update on our garden so excited about a new formulation of fertilizer that we're working on actually i believe it's going to be launched on amazon today if not sometime this week uh the week is july 7th uh, july 6th i guess you would say um but first i would give you a little tour of the garden uh, but uh, dive right into some of the work that we're doing around this new fertilizer. It's a weekly garden fertilizer based on the uh, methodology of Jacob Mitleider. If you want to learn more, go to growfood.com. We've been working with them in cooperation with them on this new fertilizer form formulation. Very exciting. But let's just take a quick tour of our garden. Uh, see our garden shed here. If anything, I would have built this a little bit better. Uh, bigger, I mean. Uh, I'm so excited to see the uh, the wisteria coming on strong. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I love. Here's a uh, baby robins nesting here. Actually, the parents are nesting. The babies are just passengers. Um, so we're going to take a step inside here. Uh, as I mentioned, I wish I could made it a little bit bigger. Uh, sort of cramped this time of year with lots of stuff in here. Got a baby greenhouse uh, up here. We do have some squash. We're trying to get rid of vine borer so uh got a little experiment here where we're started these in the greenhouse and we're gonna move them out this week hoping that we miss the vine borer highest activity um we're always looking for better ways to to circumvent the vine borers those are tough ones to control got a rain catch barrel here uh really easy a nozzle down here that we can uh fill buckets uh watering cans whatnot to uh get that on on the garden there's certain areas that we have automatic watering other places we don't uh, this is terry's herb garden here we got onion sets uh, sweet peppers serrano peppers jalapenos all doing really well green beans beets and carrots in this bed uh, got some uh, lettuce and cabbage we've had trouble this year with uh, cabbage looper our btk that we're using uh, natural organic insecticide not working all that, that well this year so we've got to try and remedy that. Uh, squash uh, and cucumbers are just off to the races, without a doubt. An outstanding year so far for those. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, squash and, and cucumbers doing really well. Uh, the tomatoes are also a really good season for tomatoes. We have tomatoes and eggplants in this bed. All raised beds, uh, about seven inches raised here but really what i wanted to do is i, I got an experiment going here uh, with this last raised bed um, always wanted to do something here with uh, experimenting on corn so this year uh, so it's july 7th today uh, the corn is now above my head um, i'm six feet tall um, so the typical corn feed field will have about a little less than one plant per square foot so out of uh, an acre, you might get 30,000, maybe 35,000 corn plants. This bed, I've got between six and seven plants per square foot. So I've just jammed them in here, trying to keep this thing going. Can we get enough sunlight in there to get uh, the crop? I don't know yet to be seen. So this is about seven times more concentration and density than normal. So uh, the variety is peaches and cream um, is the, the sweet corn variety here. Um, we have been fertilizing with the Mitt Lighter fertilizer um, all season since the beginning, since these first came up. Um, so the directions are once the uh, plants emerge, start to apply weekly. We've got, I believe, seven uh, secondary micronutrients, secondary and micro uh, nutrients uh, in a 13 eight three formulation perfectly stable all soluble so you do it weekly um, incredible color with these plants great survivability um, outstanding corn plants so we'll see what the yield looks like we also have a little bit of a secret ingredient that jacob mintlider didn't really have in the original formulations was uh, humic acid so we got a very stable formulation with um, humic dg so we've known for years that humic dg blends extremely well with soluble fertilizer so that's part of the formulation so give it a try it's on amazon should be up there this week um, outstanding weekly gar garden fertilizer test it out see how you like it and then go off with it like crazy next year so that's all for today uh, chuck and terry